Hello everyone, I just drove the Volkswagen ID5 GTX model year 2026 with a 79 kilowatt hour battery for two weeks and I wanted to see if it has a new charging curve since it went from 70 to 79 kilowatt hour battery so it's a different battery than in 2024 when I tested the a new version, new hardware ID4 GTX back in the time. So I will be look at the charging session. We're gonna compare it to the ID4, the ID3 GTX, and my ID7, all with the 77/79 kilowatt hour battery. This video is brought to you by A Better Route Planner, the route planner for EVs. Hundreds of cars are supported, choose your configuration, plan your route with the charging network that you want to prefer or charging networks that you want to avoid. If you're a premium member, you can use real-time weather forecast and traffic information and you can also use A Better Route Planner in your car with Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Use the link in the description to support the channel and use a better route planner premium for 30 days for free. And here we go, 5% like I said goes up right away to 180 and now it goes steadily up to a peak that's just a tiny second, 190 kilowatt, but at 34%, which is pretty good. And it means till then we have the 500 amp limit of CCS and here we have it. And then from that moment on it goes down, it goes under 100 kilowatt, which is always important at around 66%, 65, 66, but the time from 10 to 80 percent like I said plugged in at 5 percent took 27 minutes my ID7 is one minute one and a half minutes faster we'll see that in the curve anyways here it goes down um, after 22 minutes and then from uh, till since then the power goes down 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 and at around 80 percent we also have around 80 kilowatt And here we have the curve, like you have seen already in the video, goes steadily up to the 190 and then goes pretty fast down here and then even faster at around 45% and then 100, under 100 kilowatt around here. But then here the times, 27 minutes, 10 to 80%, but now the comparison to the other cars. And here they are in red, we have this new ID5 GTX 2026. In blue, we have the ID4 GTX from 2024 with the 77 kilowatt hour battery, so really a different battery. In yellow, we have my ID7 uh, with a 77 kilowatt. And in green, we have the ID3 GTX with the same battery. And the times are very interesting. The ID5 now took 27 minutes. My ID7 and the ID3 GTX take around 26 minutes. The ID4 when I tested it was 29 minutes. I don't know what happened there that it's so slow. Well, two, three minutes, <laughs> but still. And now when we look at the comparison in the beginning, ID7, new ID5 GTX and ID3 GTX are very, very similar. Look at this. Here the first almost till 40%. But the ID4 GTX, so two years ago, one and a half years ago, was under that and is under almost all of the other curve except for, for here in the back. That means that they really improved the charging by, I would say, 10 15 kilowatt which is pretty cool um, when it comes then to uh, what, what's also very interesting to me is here in the back um, the id3 is better than all of the others <laughs> um, and then the id4 id5 id7 are pretty close together here id5 is a bit higher and then here in the middle also there's a big difference like i said id4 under all of them then this new id5 the id3 is then higher and my id7 um, is great here the thing is though i did this charging test when the car was new maybe a thousand kilometers on it two days old and since then I tried the charging curve a few more times and this was in the winter I couldn't replicate this here right now it also that goes down back here and this is not a software update I have never had any updates this is just whatever it is I don't know <laughs> but I couldn't replicate this that it stays up here so amazingly well that is really 
a nice curve without anything going up or down. But I can see it's better than the ID4 one and a half years ago. Um, it's not uh, as good as the ID3 and it should be the same battery. So I don't know if this has to do with temperature, charger and everything or it's really a tiny bit different. Maybe it's a different chemistry, same size but different chemistry. Who knows? But there's a difference. So we can see there is an improvement from the 2024 model to the 2026 model, but it most likely has to do with the new battery, the 79 kilowatt hour battery. Um, today the ID5 GTX will be picked up and I get the pro version of the newest ID5, so also 2026 version, and I want to see uh, if the charging curve of the Pro also changed and is better, not just of the GTX, and if it's really still a different one with a slow peak but then stays high longer. We'll see. If you want to follow me on Instagram, BetterLife1, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel behind the battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.